You've met President Xi, obviously. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you think he views China's future as an equal of the United States or something more? Could be something more. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah. How, how does he view China? What is he looking to do? He wants to make China uh, back to what it was a couple of hundred years ago, the Middle Kingdom, at least. And, uh, but it's going to go beyond that. He wants to control all of Asia, I believe. And, um, you know, he occupied the South China Sea Islands. And they're not supposed to be militarized. They are militarized. And so that's a concern. Uh, so they, we, have, we have problems with China. We have to resolve them. Well, isn't it also true that they want to be the leader in many of the industries that the U.S. is trying to be the leader in, like AI, like, uh, you know, a certain technology in terms of, um, you know, uh, technology, uh, driverless cars, whatever the leading technology is that we're looking at as the growth industries of the future, that's what they want to win. Well, you can't blame them for wanting to do right, that. Right, sure. Uh, that's uh, it's up to them. Uh, remember, Many Chinese went to school in the United States, thousands of them. They go back, many of them better educated and, and more willing to do things that they weren't able to do before. That's normal. But that doesn't mean we have to be enemies. We have to have a constructive relationship with China. A world with the United States and China as allies is a much safer world than if we're not. And that's an important part of this whole conversation. So what do you want to say to President Trump as he deals with the leadership in China right now? We got to find a solution. It can't be just increasing tariffs. I mean, that's China. China has to recognize they, they have to give foreign companies equality in doing business in China, same as they want in our country. And that has to happen. And I think most Chinese businessmen understand that now. Because isn't it true that China is now using its economic power for its military complex? You know, we, we spoke with Devin Nunes, the chairman of the Intel Committee on the House, and he basically said that they're creating military bases and complexes right at the sea level, um, getting their, the best position across the world, not, not even near Asia. Well, I'm not too worried about that part of it. I think what they've done in the South China Sea uh, is some concern. Why? Tell us about that. The, uh, these little islands that they claim uh, that China over the, over the centuries had owned, there's no, there's no evidence of that. They went to court, in the, in the world court, uh, and the, um, uh, they were denied uh, that they had the right to that. They went ahead anyway. And uh, this is during the, during the Obama administration. We did nothing. And... Uh, now it would be, be very difficult to extract them from those, uh, from those uh, islands. In, in your view, will the U.S. be successful in opening up markets, in getting, to tr in getting China to change its behavior? I'm not sure they'll change their behavior willingly, but I think they'll be changed uh, in many areas. And if there isn't? If the two isn't, largest economies in the world. Then we'll, then we'll have a trade conflict. Right. And it's not, not in our interest, not, not in their interest. Mm -hmm. I well, saw the other day, you know, China's uh, building this one road, one, one, one uh, um, uh, infrastructure around the world. Right. I see that uh, we're going to do 60 billion of that ourselves. We just announced it over the weekend. Uh, and so, you know, we, we, do, we do have some conflicts. That's inevitable. But it doesn't have to be that we're enemies. It doesn't have to be that we don't try and solve these problems. I think we can solve a lot of them. So the in infrastructure announcement was what, specifically, over the weekend? That we're going uh, to uh, build um, where they want, with one road, one belt, uh, what the Chinese are doing. We're going to be competing with some of that. Mm. All right, we will leave it there. Hank, it's great to get your insights on this. Good Thanks so you. much. Good to see you. Hank Greenberg is the chairman and CEO of CB Star.